Hey guys, Dan here with episode 34, or excuse me, 35 of our Unity Making RPG series, and today we're going to continue going over our third person camera controller that we've been working on the past few videos. So, where we left off last time? Well, we left off having our camera rotate around the player. We actually uh, were updating the camera's position based on the uh, scroll view distance we were away and where the uh, camera target is. In this case our camera target is the player or the capsule and so we're updating the camera and uh, you can see it in scene view. I'm going to go ahead and press play. You can see the camera it's rotating around our target. It's updating its position, its location and 3D space so that we can <clears throat> freely move around the target. There's a couple issues left. One, we can go through the floor which we don't want. The floor is a hard space and we want to stop the camera from doing that. The next thing, it can go through other buildings. We don't want that. And lastly, which we're going to work on today, <clears throat> is when the camera when the player moves back and forth, the camera's going to stay where where we left it off, which is all right if the left mouse button is being held down. But in my game, what I want to do is when the left mouse button is not being held down, I want the camera to ease around behind the player again. So basically, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do that holding the left mouse button down to show you what I want. But uh, let's say we're going forward. I want the camera to ease behind the player. Ease behind the player when we go forward. And that's just a personal preference. If you guys don't want that, if you don't want that in your game, if you like it how it is, then perfect. This video might not be for you in that case, but I'm going to go ahead and do it because I want it in my project. So I went ahead and opened up our camera controller script in the mono develop. It's right here. Where we left off last time, we have our uh, late update, which is where uh, it happens after the normal update function that's, that controls our player movement. And basically, we're doing that because the camera controls, in my mind, are less important than the movement. We want our movement to be precise. And last time, we worked on creating this basic, this little easy, simple uh algorithm this function that basically calculates it does a uh, cross product and then a scalar multiplication and it uh, determines our position where the camera should be located based on our distance here our desired and corrected distance that's determined from our, our scroll or scroll wheel where we are zooming in and out and we find our position we update the position as well as updating our rotation and that gives us our camera so what we want to do or what, what I want to do today is we're going to add an else if statement here and that statement is going to control, or it's just going to look for uh, two things. It's going to see if we're getting, if uh, our vertical or horizontal buttons are being pressed. And I'll go ahead and explain this in just a second. So if you remember, in our player movement script, we used, where is it? Uh, I'm just going to keep it in Unity. I'm not going to open it up. But if you remember correctly, uh, we use get access horizontal and get access vertical. And these, excuse me, are, imp are uh, project inputs that if you go into edit, go to project settings, go to input, you can see what they're defined as. Here we have uh, vertical and I believe horizontal is down here. So we have horizontal and vertical. And these are the axes that give us our positive negative values to tell us whether or not we're going to be moving forward, left, or right. Uh, you might have changed the name, so if you did that, make sure that when you're in this script that you correct it, because uh, you don't want to use the wrong name. But I kept vertical, that's the Unity default. And we're going to say if this is not equal to zero, so exclamation point is equal, exclamation point equals sign zero so that's saying if this is not equal to zero so that means if it's greater than zero or less than zero as long as it's not equal to zero or excuse me or those are the two uh, vertical lines means or input dot get axes and axes and we're going to say horizontal so we'll go horizontal and we're going to say the same thing, is not equal to zero. Uh, looks like I left. Looks good to me. Okay, yeah. 
So here we have our else if statement. This is basically saying if either uh, if either vertical or horizontal buttons are pressed, then the code below will execute. So what this is doing is we're just looking to see if, in this case, I think I have WASD tagged as our vertical horizontal. So if one of those buttons is pressed, then this code in this else if statement is going to run. Uh, pretty self self-explanatory. So now we're going to create a couple uh, variables. We're going to do float. We're going to be looking at our target. So uh, we'll go target rotation angle. We're going to set that equal to target dot Euler angle. Dot Y. This is wrong. So we're going to have our float target. Uh, so this is our new variable. And if you remember, we have our camera target. So we're going to go camera target dot uh, Euler angles dot we want x or we want y because the y is our we want the y let me explain this to you with the camera and scene view so we want the y because our y is actually our up and down so what's well, not actually uh hmm. let me grab the camera real quick so in you so in a normal x y coordinate system or your x is your horizontal and your y is your vertical in unity uh, your X is your horizontal and your Z is your vertical. Your Y is that other one. It's that third axis. And uh, that's what we're going to be actually rotate, lerping around. We're going to be interpolating between these two points, our rotation angle and uh, our targets, our target, so the camera or the but the capsule, we're going to be interpolating, interp interpolating <laughs> sorry, between the camera target, in this case the player of the capsule, and the actual transforms uh, rotation angle. And that's on the Y axis so that we can rotate around. We're rotating around the Y axis. So hopefully you understand that. Uh, it's kind of hard to say. But alright, so now we're going to make another float. It's going to be called, it's going to be current, uh, we'll say camera, camera rotation angle. So this is actually the transforms rotation angle. This is where we're at. So we're going to go transform dot Euler angles, and we're going to get our y one. And then the next thing we're going to do is using this x variable that we created above. We're going to we're going to use that, and we're going to use a mathf dot lerp angle, and we're going to use the variables that we just created. So we're going to use our uh, camera rotation angle we'll use our target rotation angle and then we're going to use a variable that we haven't created yet but it's going to be t uh, multiplied by time delta time so we're going to do 10 for now and we're going to go time dot delta time and I'll explain this in just a second so go ahead and control us to save what this time dot delta time is is basically what we're doing with this x value. So we're telling this x value to slowly lerp or slowly uh, determine a value between these two points and move towards that value. Well, we're determining the point, and then down here we're telling it to move to that uh, move to that new x value. And this times uh, this ten times time delta time is the speed at which it's going to do it. So we're going to speed it up. Time dot delta time is a frame per second. And what we want to do is speed that up just a little bit. So we're going to go up here and uh, we're going to create a new public variable underneath Zoom. So we'll go public. Uh, it can be an integer. And we're going to go public int. Uh, we'll call it lerp. Lerp rate. I'm going to set it to 10 for now. I'm going to go ahead and control C to copy that. We're going to erase the control or the 10 that's in there. And uh, just why we're talking, just why since I did that, while we're talking about it, it's good coding practice to not have random numbers everywhere. 
Uh, and it's because when someone else reads your code later, they pr they might not understand what that number means, why it's there. It's better to have a descriptive variable up at the top that you can easily change. But I know I don't do that all the time, but we're doing it here with our Lerper 8. I'm going to go ahead and control us to save, and we'll jump back into Unity. Looks like we don't have any errors. We got a couple warnings still, which is fine. Uh, a couple script references that are on the main camera that I can't find. Uh, but that's not a problem for now. So I'm going to go ahead and clear these up. We're going to go in our scene view. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. And uh, I'm going to, I'm holding the left mouse button down right now and our, we're still looking around. I'm going to go ahead and let go of the left mouse button. And I'm going to see how the camera rotated. Did it pretty quick. I'm behind. I'm going to press forward and it rotates behind us. And this is that rotation damp, or our, excuse me. This is our lerp rate that we're talking about. See how quickly it does it? This is a variable that you want to kind of pick and choose, see what you like. Also, if you want, the left mouse button is going to over, as long as you're holding down the left mouse button in this case, it's always going to be, it's not going to rotate around. And that's because we used if and then else if. If you used if and if, then they would both take precedence and it and it would automatically go to this uh, first if which would always control but we're using if and else if so if, as long as that left mouse button is held down then the player it the you're going to be in control of the camera immediately after you let it go it's going to rotate back around and it's going to rotate it back around at whichever height you left it at so you, let's say you want it completely like that well it's going to follow you so basically what we just mimicked or what we just coded was exactly the camera that we had before that didn't allow rotation but it followed the capsule around right but this is a much better more uh, more advanced camera than we had last time uh, oh, I guess that was like four videos ago this is a much better more intuitive camera I'm gonna actually slow down this curve uh, this lerp rate so you can see it we'll say we'll put down like three and see how slow that is oh. Go ahead. Remember to adjust your public variables when you're not playing the game, because if you're playing the game, they won't save. So I changed the lerp rate. We'll uh, go ahead. See how it's a much slower now. It's not so jerky, uh, and that's that's the lerp. That's what that math does. Basically, if you have two points, uh, let's say if you can look at these lines. I don't, hopefully, you can see these lines on the camera. Basically, if you have two points, right? Let's say we have right where this white dot is here and then a point down here. Let's say these are the two points you want to interpolate between. The math, that math function that's built into Unity is going to find points. It's going to slowly get more and more. And since our camera target's changing, the uh, the distance between the two is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And it's going to gradually move us there. And that's where you get that almost animation-like movement. It's fluid. It doesn't look jerky. And uh, the way you can see it more is by slowing it down. So we'll go ahead and do one lerp. Uh, see how much it's a lot slower. I didn't even fully do it. So look, I'm pressing forward now. Slowly does it. So this is all up to you what you want. Let's change it to like 50 or 25 and see what how fast it goes. See, it's instant. So again, it's up to you what you want to do. Uh, I don't like it instant. I'm going to slow it back down. Let's say five. Let's check out five. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to keep it with five. I'm going to go ahead and uh, press play. I had set it five. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, delete or change this from public to private because I've discovered kind of what I want. I'm going to leave it at five. What we can do and cover later is when we uh, this would be much much later. But what you can do is keep that public or keep it. Uh, accessible so that you can add a uh, say you have an options menu at the beginning of your game they can adjust that lerp rate we can change the name but uh, maybe like ease I don't know how what you can call it but it basically you allow the option to let the player adjust the speed so maybe they want it to snap faster behind uh, basically it's up to you all customization I'm keen to keep it at 5 I made it private controls to save you go back into unity you won't be able to uh, change it anymore and uh, that's the camera that's that's where we're at so far 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably end the video here for today. Uh, hopefully you like the camera that we've developed. Uh, and uh, next time we're going to add either physics to the camera or we're going to jump in and do something different to kind of change it up because I know some of this coding like this can be kind of boring. So uh, maybe we can jump into uh, terrain generation or painting, terrain, something like that. Actually, that's my, probably what we'll do because looking at this crappy green square floor kind of sucks, doesn't it? Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Pass it on to your friends. Share the videos. And uh, I'll see you next time.